first opened back in 2012. We're live inside the cavernous Lone Depot Park in Miami. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the Colorado Rockies and the Miami Marlins. The Rockies have now won five consecutive games. They'll aim to continue their winning streak next. Sandy Alcantara is on the mound for game two. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks. And that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. Now with the plate is Rymel Tapia. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. First pitch on the way. One pitch on its way. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Josh Fuentes to the plate now. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Here it comes. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Guys, this Marlins ball club as they begin play here tonight. Despite the loss last time out, they'd won four in a row, so they've been on a nice little roll here. Yeah, Matty, I know they lost their last game, but you know as well as I do, in this sport, you have to have short-term memory. You, you have, have to let it go. Oh, they can get it going back in the right direction today. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Working the plate is Larry Bullard. Hey, behind the dish, D. Row, Larry Bullard. Pretty standard guy. Works. The only problem is that I think at times hitters have a little bit difficult time. He'll give a little bit on that inside corner and outside corner. Not very consistent. Yeah, but Larry's approachable. That's the one thing. If you turn around and say, is that as far as you're going on the outer half, he's usually going to tell you. Too much dip on the sinker and laid off for a ball. Game time temperature, a comfortable 76 degrees. The one, two. I got to count two and two. You can bet these hitters are taking note of what the guy on the hill is working with. A long at bat like this in the first inning can reveal a lot. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for out number two. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. That right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. On the ground to second. Scooped up. Throw over to Aguilar at first to take care of him to end the inning. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. Now the Marlins will see what they can do. No score. John Gray gets the start for Colorado in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year with all the high-scoring games, but this guy has an ERA of sub-3, and that's saying something. If he continues to do that, I think you're going to see a really good performance out of him in this one. Now at the plate, here is Corey Dickerson. they will lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And he'll start him with a fastball that misses down and away for a ball. 1-0. Now, boys, we take a look at the Rockies' starting play here tonight. They come in riding a five-game winning streak, and they've really got things clicking. Yeah, Matty, this team's coming together right now. They're playing dangerous baseball. You can tell the look in their eye. They feel good about where they're at. They've won a few games in a row, yeah, ball, and they look strike. to continue that trend today. Gray is sitting on 49 career pitching victories coming into this one so potentially looking for number 50 here. The 1 1. Ball two. 
I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Waiting on it is Tapia. Makes the play one away. Batting second. The third baseman. John. Birdie. Next to stand in is John Birdie. Now here's the first offering. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. Ton of rotation on that ball. You can almost see the red dot from oh, up right here. here. Nasty depth. One and one the count now. Now here it comes. I'll oh, straighten him up there on that fastball. One it's one and two now. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Hampson onto the grass. He makes the running play. Two down. Boy, he that showed some pretty good range he's heading pretty down. deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Here's Starling Marte. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. The numbers, 282 to start play, seven homers, and 25 driven in. The windup and the 0-1. Inside, ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two. Into the windup and the pitch. The one two is a breaking ball that can't find the zone and it's even at two. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. Wind up. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. That pitch was way down on 2 and 2, but give the hitter some credit there. Sometimes with two strikes, you're more off to expand the strike zone, but he didn't and held off on that one that wasn't even close. Again, another foul ball. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The payoff pitch one more time. And That's a good job four. there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. That well, when you go with the slider there on a full count, you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jesus Aguilar. Individual matchup numbers against John Gray. He's one for five. Now the first pitch. Marte off for second. Pitch outside the throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Another look at the throw down that results in a third out on the bases. More to come from Lone Depot Park right after this. Now to the plate, here is Trevor Story. He'll lead it off here to begin the second. First delivery to him. One home.
There's ball two, two as the slider dips below the zone. Swung on and missed. Really fooled in that time for the first down. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base. And that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout. Keep that guy off the base path. And that'll bring in Garrett Hampson. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Now the 1 0. Taken on the inside corner for strike one. Still looking for our first hit in the ballgame. 1 and 2 now. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Struck him out. Every pitcher looks to get off to a good start. I'd say he's off to a good start. How about the first five batters he's faced? Three of them he sent down via the strikeout. The batter will be Sam Hilliard. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. The 0 1 on its way. Behind 0 and 2 now. Hey, that's a good sinker right there. That's his bread and butter pitch, and if he's got that going, especially early, it's going to be tough to get some runs off him. Lifted down the line and left. And foul. Another one sent foul. The 0 2 once more. Line drive. That's a base hit into the right center field gap. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. The throw is wild and it gets away. The speed they always talk about with this guy was on full display there. Yeah, when you've got elite speed like this guy does, man, you don't need any help from the fielders to give you more time. He's thinking extra bases as soon as the ball gets to the outfield, and that time he wanted three. Brendan Rodgers bats next as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Ready with the 0 and 1. Base hit line drive into the corner and this will find the wall deep in the corner. And the run scores to give the Rockies an early 1-0 lead. Not every day that you see a ball come off the bat like that one did. And looking at it again on show track, we see it a lot faster than it came in. 113 miles an hour. Couldn't have hit that one much better than that. At the plate, Dom Nunez, as he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0 2. On 0 2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit, he's got a base open. So he has to focus oh, sorry, on making a good pitch right here. To one and two now. A ball and two strikes. Nope. I, think so. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit, and bury that inside. It leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. Yeah. 
two and two. Here it is. A swing and a miss at a sinker. The strikeout retires the side. Inning is over. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now one nothing Colorado. Half of the second set to go. And Lady set to go is the Parker. veteran first baseman, the first Jesus baseman. Aguilar. Jesus. Aguilar. The pitch. And he'll bounce one on the ground to first. And he'll step on oh. first himself for the out. That is good. The right field. Adam Duvall. Next, it'll be Adam Duvall. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. Taken, but that catches the inside part of the plate. Winging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove. And he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. Change up, and he ain't buying it. One and two, and that's his strikeout pitch right there. You know, you'll see a lot of guys swing right over the top of that one, but in this situation, he was able to hold back. That's a nice take. This is ball two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Boy, he's having a hard time just putting the ball in play right now. He took the hat trick with three strikeouts yesterday, and here's another one today. Looks to me like he just needs to simplify his approach and focus on making some contact. To the plate now, Jazz Chisholm. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Still plenty to be desired in terms of batting average down in the 180s entering play. Five homers, 18 driven in. The wind up and the 0 1. Late swing there on the no changeup. Couldn't strike. make up his mind, I guess. It's strike two. Up the middle. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. The love of the game runs deep with these folks. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. And now, John Gray, 9 1 and 2, do up. John. First offering. Oh. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Here's one a and swing one. and a miss. 1 and 1. Great job by the pitcher right there, changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, but if he could throw one some four seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swing and a blooper down the right field line. And that's in there. Base hit. Hey, this is perfect storm right here. This is how oh, big problem. innings start. You put a crooked number up on the board when the pitch leads off an inning with a huge knock. So now to the plate, Rymel Tapia, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Oh, 
Green on at first. Nobody out. A ball and a strike to Colorado's leadoff batter. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Three and one now as that misses down and in. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire, so it's ball four. He almost got him to commit there. As we take another look at it in slow motion, he comes awfully close to breaking that plane, but he was able to hold back. Strong wrist, and he gets a trip to first because of it. Into the box now, Josh Fuentes. Nope. He'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. -oh. Boy, that fastball is just sizzling up there. 1 and 1. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about Two his straight. fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Ready to deliver the one and two. Still a ball and two strikes. None out, runners at first and second. To two balls and two strikes now. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out, and we're only in the second game of this series. And that'll bring in Charlie Blackman as he takes a called strike on the black. It's 0 and 1. In his career, Blackman is hitting just over the benchmark 300 plateau. Source of pride for him, I'm sure. Yeah, Matty, I know in today's game, batting average isn't held in high regard, but for a career to be north of 300, you're doing it. The 1-1. One, one. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. From the stretch, and he looks at the sinker for a called third strike, and now there are two gone. It's never a good look to strike out looking, but it's way worse when you do it with a guy in scoring position. Those are the times you really want to see a guy battle and at least put the ball in play. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Fouled off. Fouled away. Two down, runners at first and second. Inside, as he might be trying to set him up here, one and two. Boy, his pitch count has really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. From the stretch, the one two, and he fouls this one off.
Ready with the one two. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Not quite out of here. It's off the out of town scoreboard. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. And not in time as the second run scores. Wow, what a great piece of hitting now here back. as he took a big Number swing one. at that one. Almost got it out of here for a three-run blast, but he'll be happy with a two-run double as well. Yeah, he's not happy either way, but I'm sure the man on the mound is more than a bit relieved that that hit didn't turn into something worse. Standing in now, Garrett Hampson. Oh. Pitch outside the throw. And he'll be tagged out trying to steal third. That just doesn't make much sense as the inning is over. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. Rockies lead this one three to nothing. Welcome back as the Marlins look to get the offense going in the third. And this is a lineup that it's had its struggles this season. Entering the day, they rank near the bottom of the league in batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging. So it's clear this is a work in progress. One player told me before the game, it's a difficult thing to go through. We're all competitive guys, and we believe in ourselves, but we're obviously not getting the results we need. Now, one coach told me that despite the numbers being what they are, he's seeing a lot of development happening. So he's optimistic about what the future holds, especially for some of their younger players. Back to you, Matt. All right, thanks, Heidi. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. But he will come on strong out there in right and pull this one down for the first down. He jumped all over that second first pitch of the inning, and he didn't miss it. Just wasn't yeah. able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. In now, Isan Diaz. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Marlins are still on the lookout for their first hit of the ball game. Guide into straightaway right. Blackman is under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. So the next to bat will be Sandy Alcantara. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command oh, and a nice early out. feel for his off-speed stuff. One and one to count. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. One and two. Here it comes. That ball two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. He got three and two. Well, the 1-2 pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on 2-2. Two and two. You know he doesn't want this at bat to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count. Two out, nobody on. And he That's misses ball here, four. ball four. And somehow he manages to walk his opposite number. Wow. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Corey Dickerson flew out last time up. And now the first pitch. Rising fastball, and it catches the zone for a strike. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the oh. offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. Go off 
speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Alcantara leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. This one skied out toward right. Blackman is under it. And that's the third out. One left for Miami. They trail in this one three nothing. Start of the fourth upcoming but first Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Thanks Matt. I talked with Rockies skipper Bud Black between innings specifically about his club's offensive output to this point and flat out he was very pleased with the quality of their at bats. They've been able to push across three runs to this point but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. All right. Thanks Heidi. All set for the start of the fourth and stepping in will be the very fleet footed Garrett Hampson. I'm interested to see how focused their ABs will be playing with this lead. I think this needs to be a little bit of a smell blood inning. Keep the fire rolling. I know it's early but keep the pressure going. Swinging the bats nice. 2 and 0 now. Pitch on the way. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. Kind of frustrating as a pitcher when you start an inning off with three straight balls like he has here in the fourth. Makes you start wondering what's going on. Here it comes on 3 and 0. Oh. And oh, oh. that won't Thanks, find the zone either. So speed on base here to begin the inning. It's a four pitch walk. Three of those pitches so were definitely out of the zone, but that last pitch looked pretty yeah. darn good to me. You're not usually going to get many favorable calls on 3 and 0, oh, though. You have to earn that spot. At the plate now, Sam Hilliard. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He's certainly searching out there on the mound. Five straight balls in a row. You have to take a strike as a hitter right here. Now a move over to first. And a dive, but he's back. Three runs, four hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. And this one gets away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, now might be a good time to make a visit to the mound. Your pitcher walks the first batter and allows him to get into scoring position with the wild pitch. Got to settle him down and make sure everything's all right physically. The 2-0 on the way. Is in there for strike one. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. A little bouncer. Yeah you could tell he was ready for another fastball but the pitcher went to breaking ball and the hitter just fouls that one off. The 2 2 one more time he swung on and missed strike three. Well I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball there's not a whole lot you could do with that textbook sinker. To the plate now, Brendan Rogers. As they watch a sinker here that misses, it's ball one. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Swing and a miss on the sinker, a ball and a strike. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right hander is up and throwing. Rounded to third. And that's the second out. And stepping in, Dom Nunez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now 
As a look, now the pitch. Four. Well, that sinker is normally a really important pitch for him, but it really hasn't been effective so far. It just looks kind of flat. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Swing and a miss for strike one. That's not really where you want to miss right there. I know this guy has got power stuff, but you can't live in the middle of the plate against this lineup and expect to have success. Here comes the one two. Struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. Rockies strand one, but they lead it 3 nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next will be the speed threat, John Birdie. The third baseman, John. Wheels and deals, here's the first pitch. Now he'll try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. That misses Count. one and one two. And two. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Into the windup and the pitch. Great A.B. up to this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Now the payoff pitch home. And nope, that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. That's an excellent at bat right there. Fell behind an early field. one and two. Didn't panic or start chasing Miller. pitches out of the zone. He's March able to lay off three pitches in a row, and he's standing on first with no outs. That's a great job. Digging in next will be Starling Marte. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Birdie gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Two balls, no strikes to the Miami center fielder. That could be one of the downfalls of pitching out. It puts you behind in the count, and if you throw another ball, you're kind of in a difficult spot. Nope. 3-0. Three three sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Three-o pitch, and boy, that misses as well. It's back-to-back -back walks to start out the inning. Well, they've struggled offensively in this one so far, but after that walk, they've got runners at first and second, and look ready to make a little noise. Just need a big hit now. Up next, Jesus Aguilar grounded out in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. No runs, no hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. 0 1 pitch, and he can't make no contact on right. the bender. 0 and 2. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with Hammond. Watching this at bat, 
It's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Stepping in now, Adam Duvall. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. Struck out in his first at-bat. And it's fouled away. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter, and it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. Into the box, Jazz Chisholm. I you watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. And that's on the outside corner, one and two. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well thrown changeup. Fouled off. Two men are on with two men out. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. A couple of walks in the inning, but nothing on the scoreboard. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. All ready to go in the top of the fifth and set to stand in is the veteran pitcher, John Gray. First pitch on its way. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well executed fastball down the way, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that, that's off the end of the bat, that's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, the that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. Goal. You can really force Stop. hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. At the plate, Rymel Tapia. As he'll look at a breaking now, ball that misses for ball one. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. One oh home. Hit on the ground out for short. Reined in on the first, and there were two down. The first base Next to hit is Josh Fuentes, and he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. As he'll take a look at ball one. Hit to short. He's got it. Go over to Aguilar at first. He'll take care of him to end the inning. Three up, three down for Colorado. They lead it three to nothing. Welcome back to Miami as we check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Don Mattingly about the Marlins' offensive production. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He cited the four walks they've earned already as evidence that his guys are waiting for the right pitch 
and that they're willing to let the opposition work themselves into trouble. So far, that's paying off. All right, Heidi, thank you. Leading up for the Marlins, the catcher, Jorge Alvaro. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Jorge Alfaro is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Hey, it's a game of execution. If the pitcher stays right there, this lineup's going to continue to have a tough time. The wind up and the 0-1. I got a ball, one strike. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. One one takes a pass and misses that strike two. two strike. Hey that's the modern game right now north south elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Oh and meanwhile this pitch rides too far in and winds up hitting it. Well he's really been good all game long right. until that one. He was Second definitely base, not trying to hit a guy he's when he's got two strikes on him. Yeah. It just appeared that it got away from him. Standing in now, Isan Diaz. Nope, as he will look at a first pitch fastball ball for one, ball no one. Play. Love the fact that he's not scared to go right back inside with another fastball. I know he hit the last guy, but if he's going to have success, he's got to establish that pitch in. Now the 1 0 is offered at and missed for the first one strike. One. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. The one one high in the air and drifting out to shallow center waiting on it is Tapia and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Garrett Your Cooper will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher the here. Number 26. Garrett. And now the first pitch. As he'll take a change up here for strike one. The average right at 280 coming in. Five homers and 17 RBIs. Here's the 0 1 hit the other way out toward right field Blackman on the move he tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out stepping in next Corey Dickerson 0 for 2 from him so far in this one first things first here's a throw over and he'll dive back in safely First pitch on its way. Oh one the count. Hit out toward second. And the Marlins have their first hit of the game. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Sent it back right where it came from. At the plate now, John Birdie. As he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Fouled away. Alfaro on second. Dickerson at first. Two out in the inning. This is skied into short left center. Story onto the grass. 
He gets there to make the catch and that ends the inning. Marlins strand a pair still down three nothing. Adam Simber takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 90. Adam Simber. So now here is Charlie Blackman. Lifetime against this particular arm. He's hitless in three at bats. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Oh and one. Here it comes. One and one. One and one. This is hit the other way out toward left field. After it is Dickerson. But he won't get to it. And this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Boy, after that base knock right there, D. Rowe, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tucked, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. He's working on a one for two game so far. He's set. Here's the 0 1. That's a ball. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Here comes the one-two. Swing and a liner. But this will land in foul territory. Still one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Story swings and this ball is hammered to deep left field. Dickerson is going to get back and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first down. And now for Colorado, Garrett Hansen. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch coming. Here it is. Now a ball hit pretty well to left but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. No, that's low. A man at third with one away. That's a ball. Inside and a hair low it's two balls and two strikes. All right no more hope and he's going to chase. It's two and two now. You've got to come up with the best pitch right here because this is definitely a strikeout situation. Pause now the pitch. Full count, three, two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2. And he's seen a lot of pitches too. Payoff pitch home to first. And he'll step on He's first himself for the out. The left field. Stepping in once again is Sam Hilliard. Struck out in his last trip to the plate. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And that's a home run into the top tank. A 
A two run blast to straight away right field sixth home run on the season for him and the Rockies are opening things up now it's a five nothing ball game. Well this is what makes this guy so hard to pitch to he has that rare combination of speed and power you don't want to walk him and have him get on first base so what happens you throw him a strike and he can hit the ball all the ballpark like he did just there. The third baseman, number seven, Brendan. And now, Brendan Rodgers, as he grounds one briskly to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. Through five and a half, it's the Rockies five and the Marlins nothing. Now into the box, Starling Marte to start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. Yeah, I think if I'm the hitting coach right here, Maddie, I'm telling the offense to get aggressive. Just seems like we've been going too deep in counts, and this guy has got exploding stuff on the mound. So I would tell them get overly aggressive on a heater in the middle of the plate early. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Now a right-hander has started to get loose in the Colorado bullpen. A 1-1. Misses, no, ball down. two. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. The 2 1. He is swung on and missed, and that's two strike ball, two. two strike. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. Fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there, and it just seems like we've seen so many off-balance swings and weekly hit balls in this one. Into the box now, Jesus Aguilar. As he puts it on the ground to third, Rogers picks it up. And there's out number two. So next to bat will be Adam Duvall. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. Rounded to the right, scooped up. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Miami down in order. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit. Eliezer Hernandez will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. Seventh inning ready to roll, and now it will be the catcher, Dom Nunez. Now the first pitch. Looks like a left hander up and throwing now in that Marlins bullpen. One oh home. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield, and this is taken in for out number one. Next to hit will be the pitcher, John Gray. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. 
Here's the first pitch to him. Ball. Hernandez typically throws a lot of strikes coming in out of the bullpen resulting in low walk totals although he has been snake bitten by the home run ball at times in the past. One of the keys for this guy Matt is not being afraid to attack the strike zone. With that said he is prone to giving up the home runs. I think one of the cause of that Matty V he leaves a lot of pitches up in the strike zone. He needs to be down in the zone when he's effective. And he will make the play out there and there are two away now. Now here's the first offering. Rymel Tapia is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. You know a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch. That might be the case with this one right here. Took a wheelhouse fastball. Oh, ball. Oh, oh center cut. Didn't even give the impression he was swinging. From the windup the one one pitch. Easy there big fella two and two. Hey I'd like to see a little bit more discipline than that you get a count in your favor and swinging a pitch that bad not good. Fastball well outside. Wow talk about a waste pitch on two and two that one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. Reined in. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. Well it took him till the seventh but he gets his first hit of the game here and that'll extend his hitting streak. Yeah and he didn't come out of his he didn't come out of what he was trying to do all day Dan kept the front shoulder tuck kept the ice water in his veins and didn't try and get too big extends the hitting streak. Nice job. You know D -Row, I talked to him before the game about the streak and he said the toughest part is he hopes to get hits early in the game to take the pressure off. He had to wait to the seventh inning in this one to come through. One and one to the Rockies first baseman. One ball one strike. Tapia the runner at first with two gone. Two and one. Two ball one strike. And he checks his swing. Did he go around. Yes says the first base umpire strike two. Two two here it is. Still even at two and two. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. One left for Colorado as they're unable to add to their five nothing lead. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Jazz Chisholm. Now here's the first offering. He starts things here with a changeup for a called strike. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. Hey, he's been able to pound that zone all night, working that outer half of the plate. That's one why he's having so much now. success. One ball and two strikes to count. The one two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Hilliard is camped under this one. One gone. Ready now for the Marlins. Jorge Alfaro. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. And the pitch. 1 0. The 1 0 home. Back up the middle. Throw gets him. Out. Two down. 
Wow. So one. stepping in Second is three. Isan Diaz. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. First pitch on its way. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. One, two, three go the Marlins. Need to get it going soon. It's five nothing. Now to the plate, Charlie Blackman. Lifetime versus this arm. Not a big sample size, 0 for 1. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. No nope. fastball Ball misses one. inside. It's even at one. Pulled toward right center field. Marte is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Next Trevor oh, Story oh. steps in now. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. The battle. Number Into the one. box, Garrett Hampson. He bounced out last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him yep, successful. That ball went out. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. A ball and a strike now. And somewhat apropos for a game here in Florida, we'll have a quick stoppage as they attend to a beach ball that's made its way onto the field. The 1 1 home. And he fouls this one off. The 1 2. And it's fouled away. Now look out as this one sends him sprawling. It's ball two now. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Line towards center field. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. So he wins the full count battle and finds a way to extend the inning. Sometimes you get lucky in this game. I don't think pitch recognition wise he would choose to swing at that exact pitch. But you know what? Sometimes result is the only thing that matters. To the plate now, Sam Hilliard. She'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. So far, two for three in this one. Here comes the 0 1. Aye. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. Great three called, and the inning is over. Rockies strand one, but they hold a 5-0 lead. Carlos Estevez will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Brian Anderson will try and get his club Number back into it here as he'll pinch hit to Brian. lead off the home half of the eighth. Anderson. He's set and the pitch. Hey. 
He's a guy who could use a three for four. He's got that batting average still down in the 190s. Three homers and 16 RBIs. Hard on the ground towards short. Story brings it in. And there's one down now. And there are the final numbers for the Colorado starting pitcher. He was great all night long. Matty V, what a nice performance in this one. Seven shutout innings watching for the dugout now. Hard to believe that he could pitch any better than he did through the first seven innings. At the plate, Corey Dickerson popped him up. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Stepping up is now John Birdie. Two base. away here in the eighth, and John. time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. First offering on its way. And here's a ball hit in the air. And that will end up a foul ball. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Still no balls and two strikes. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled off. And three. strike three called as he says, You got to be kidding me Stop with the side retired. Miami down in order. They can't chip into that 5 0 deficit. Your Dylan Floro enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one. And that'll bring up Brendan Rogers. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Wind up and the 0-1. That's over, but low. It's a ball and a strike. Ball, one strike. Sinker oh, misses that strike. time, and it's two and one. Into the wind up and the pitch. Three oh, one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And this no, pitch misses here. It's Victory. ball four. And they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. The batter, number three. Ready now is Dom Nunez. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. First pitch coming. Here it is. No. Nope. A ball and no strikes. And when you're already down five, the last thing you want to do is fall behind in the count when you're on the mound. That's not going to do anything to help you get back into this thing. Now the 1 0. A swing and a miss, strike yeah, one. Ball, one strike. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. One one he is offered at but missed. I got to count one and two. Rogers aboard here at first with nobody out. Two and two to two the Colorado ball. catcher. And he tries Three to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two.
And he lays four. off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. Jonathan Daza will get a chance to swing the bat here, and he'll do it in a good spot as he has runners at first and second and nobody out in the inning. From the stretch. Yeah. Here's a guy who could use a three for four. He's got that batting average still down in the 190s. No home runs as of yet, and three driven in. Oh, and one, here it comes. Hey. You got to cover the whole plate now after letting him steal two strikes on the inside half. Ready with the 0 2. Swing and a little blooper to center. Diaz has got it, and there's one away. Now that's so the Rockies lineup turns over Rimal. and to the plate. Rimal Tapia is working on a one for three thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it Ball. comes. Ball one, no strike. There's a drive out toward left center field. Rogers rounds the corner and is headed home. One run is scored. Here's a second runner around third. Safe at the plate as the lead swells to 7 0. You love the aggressive base running right there. It's not easy to make that throw and give that catcher time to adjust his feet and get that tag down. No, very aggressive send right there. You take a chance, you hope the throw is a little bit offline, and that paid off right there. John Curtis comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. John Curtis. Standing in now, Josh Fuentes. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Fouled off again and now he's in a 1 and 2 hole. Still only one out in the inning. I'll try to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Fouled away. Liner towards second. Throw on to first, two gone. Up next to Colorado. So now into the box the is Charlie Blackman. From the stretch. Ball one. Counts one and oh. Two outs here with a runner at third. Line drive to left. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. When we looked at this game on paper before it started, I don't think any of us thought it would go down like this. Yeah, man, hard to stay focused on the game when the score is this far out of hand, especially when you're on the losing side of it. Even as broadcasters, it can be a little bit challenging to stay fully dialed in. Into the box, Trevor Story. And here's a ball in the air now, carrying a bit out toward right center. Duvall will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. So three runs on only two hits in the inning. No errors, and one man left on base.
Part of the order, three, four, and five will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Rockies eight and the Marlins nothing. Please. Michael Givens, now a right-hander standing Colorado. six foot even, will take over Number the pitching 60. duties here. Michael Givens. So here is Starling Marte starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. And now the first pitch. That's a ball. Givens, 30 years of age. He was taken in the second round back in the 2009 MLB draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Gone! A solo shot off the bat of Starling Marte. Eighth home run on the season for him. And they're now on the board, though still well behind. What a great feeling right there as he circles the pillows. Finally able to get this offense potentially going with one swing of the bat. Being shut out all game, but not anymore. Stepping in now, Jesus Aguilar. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Swing and a miss and he's in the hole 0 2 now. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Ready with the 0-2. Bases are empty here. Nobody out. And he fouls this one off. The next 0 2. Popped up, and no one will get this one. Now another 0 2. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. And now in the box, Adam Duvall. He grounded out last time up. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. And there's a swing and a miss at an off speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. And he misses with it one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Swing and a miss at a ball tailing out of the zone. Two and two. One out, nobody on. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. This tells me a lot about this guy. He's done a real nice job bouncing back from that home run to strike out the next two guys. Sometimes you're going to get taken deep, but it's all about how you respond that really matters. So now to the plate, Jazz Chisholm. 
as he'll come up empty there as he misses the off speed pitch for strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. And it's fouled away. Miami down to their last strike. And this will be fouled away. Two out, nobody on. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Swing and a line drive. Tapia is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. You can just see that the confidence is radiating off of them out there right now. That's six wins in a row, and this looks like a train that's not about to slow down anytime soon. Eight to one is the final tonight. The Rockies took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. John Gray earned his fifth win of the year as he finishes seven innings, allowing only one hit. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. Unionizing their services.